Do do we pay? What does a newly qualified nurse earn, Minister? Are you aware? Well, something that we've done is that we have been increasing the pay, particularly for newly qualified nurses. So there's been an increase in pay for newly qualified nurses of 12 percent since we put in place what's called the Agenda for Change pay deal. Oh, and what, 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 would, what would he or she make then with that 12? What, roughly, what would that come in at, Minister? Do you know, I don't have that uh, figure at my, at my fingertips. Okay. Well, there. that's my job. I mean, I, I would suggest that perhaps your team might have given you the figure of what a nurse makes, but I'll tell you, it's 24,000, give or take, for newly qualified. It rises to 33 on average once you've got yep. years of training. But 24, you've done all that training. Is that enough? 24,000. Is that enough, Minister? <sighs> Well, I mean, I think one of the things that I will welcome is, as we've seen with the numbers, that we've got nearly 50,000 people who want to come forward and study nursing this year. That's on the back of last year. We saw an increase of uh, people starting nursing courses. So we had nearly 30,000 uh, new nurses start degrees last year. Um, and, and so, I, but you're absolutely, you know, you're absolutely right. We want to make sure there is the right support there for nurses. But one of the things when I've talked to nurses over, over no, many years in the pandemic and before is it's not just a matter of pay. One of the most important things for nurses is to make sure that there is a the workforce around them, that mm. you've got a full team, and um, that you're not having to have a team that's got too many temp, uh, temp um, workers on it. No, important that they are, really yes. good job bank and agency staff do but it's so much better if you've got a permanent team and that's why we are committed to increasing the number of nurses in the NHS okay. to 50,000 more by the end of the parliament that's a really important part of our commitment both to getting a better patient care but also to supporting the workforce. 